Buongiorno YouTube, Trevor here, Summit on Nothing, hiking and wild camping on Dartmoor. Today I'm out with my mate Stan, whose real name is James. Do you remember him? Hell. You've met him a couple of times. Just got over the last time. <laughs> we did uh, astrophotography, was the first time up on Dartmoor. That was a good, good night, wasn't it? That was good. Oh. And then we done uh, Brixham to Kings Weir on the coast. So Stan's become a bit of a regular. He wanted to come out for a wild camp. I'll keep hassling him, to be honest. So here we are at Dartmoor, back up to the Merryvale area. It's late in the afternoon. We're just going to do like a bit of a figure eight walk and then set up camp. But what we're going to do, we're going to walk now over to King's Tour. Then we're going to go and take in the stone rows over here. And then we're going to make it away up to Great Miss Tour where we're going to camp. There's army training going on over there, but we're not actually going into the danger zone. The Great Miss Tour is just on the edge of the danger zone, but I did check on that board over there and we're all right we're gonna be all right anyway so Dartmoor are you looking forward to it Stan I am looking forward to it mate yeah ever done a wild camp before never I've got a very big bag on my back it's very heavy he has got a very big bag on his back mine's a bit bigger than last week as well I'm 14 kilos and surprisingly that massive bag it's only 15.4 15.4 kilos so he's got the nature hike star river we're gonna try out I've bought the lantern but it's looking like it's going to be a bit cold tonight uh, a one degree so it's a bit of a summer tent so I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not anyway we'll see how we go King's Tour Stands a twitcher what did you say you've seen already since you've been here? I see a meadow pipit meadow pipit. two ducks there's a female mallard um, grouped with a male mallard. Probably a couple, probably courting. First date, who knows? Oh, oh there was. Oh, I didn't like you, Stan. Right. Bit of a steady climb here, Stan, isn't it? Enjoying it? Yeah. This is one of my favourite areas, Murrayvale. We'll have to get back here again. Shall we get up on that? Shall we? Yes. Oh. King's Tour. It's fogging tour there. Swell tour over there. We're thinking we've got time. We might pop over and have a look at the quarries while we're here. Then back over this way, excuse the wind. That's the Great Staple Tours. Bruce Tour in the background. I think that's White Tour. And then Great Miss there. So we'll be working up to that. Have a look at the quarries. Here it is. Swell tour quarry. That wasn't much of a walk, as a white. Godzilla's footprint. <laughs> Use the zoom on the handy cam. So we're here now at Fogging Tour Quarry. We're going to walk up around the top of it this time. So we are fogging tour from above. It's nice, yeah. isn't it? But you can't get down there and up, and up the other side, so. You might be able to. Yeah, we might be able to come in from there and then get in over. Oh, 
Just to stop, stop around there. Stop around there. Grab the drink. Let's go down then. See if we can get around it. Hey up, lad. Hey up, lad. Oh. oh dear. What do you reckon, then? Echo. Echo. So was it a North Face? How big is the bag? It's 90 litre. 90 litres. So I've done it all done up. It opens right out. It's not deal though. It's got everything inside it. Look, tent. tent. A sleeping bag and an infamy van go. See now that feels more bag. Coat. Yeah. yeah. I've got the tent in there, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, the tent's down there. It's all in there, mate. It's all in there. It's quite a big sack. Have you seen the sack on Stan? Gert's sack. Oh, wow, where'd you get in then? I've, I've got this from Asda. Asda. Mountain chips, 22% protein, muscle mousse. That's me. Eat one, tell me what you think. <laughs> I thought he was going to jump off the end then. <laughs> we'll tread on with <laughs> handy cow. I'm getting a bit off. Yeah, Stan, what's that for you? What's that? <laughs> it doesn't look very appetising at the moment. What is it? I found it hanging in a tree, Stan. Oh, did you? It's one of my flapjacks. There's two in there. They just uh, got a bit squashed in my bag. But hopefully they taste all right. Oh, yeah. Doesn't taste like dog shit at all. <laughs> That's nice bread. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Save some for breakfast. That was our idea. I'll have one now and then one for breakfast in the morning and it gets back to the car. That's all right, you keep it. You keep it in your bag. You've got a big enough bag. So we're cutting in through the old mining sort of ruins now. We're going to try and find our route back out to the underside of King's Tour. Avoiding any bogs. <laughs> yeah, avoiding bogs. Look at his feet. Got me again. Huh? Sucked me right in. <laughs> yeah, that was coming out of the quarry, that was. Scoreboard error. Boots done their job though, I haven't got wet feet. Yeah, my boots. But that's the thing, because I was going to wear my boots, which are split. And if I had been wearing them, I'd have been proper soaked. Yeah. Bog foot. Oh, what's this? It's all fenced off here. So we're in skirting around all these rocks, hopefully we can get back out and uh, onto the moors. Looks like we're out here. And we're back on the moors. It doesn't look very inviting across there though. <laughs> it's not ideal walking across this, but... We're off piste. Yeah, we are off piste. It's lovely and dry here today at the moment. Fingers crossed, we'll be all right. Off-roading. Look this boy. Stan was just telling me then about Bear Grylls on Netflix has got a video where it's a choose your own adventure. We've already done that. We've done our own choose your own adventure to get across yeah, Dartmoor. Your own material bear. If you haven't seen that, then you can do it here. Have a go. Where did he come from? Look at that. Water. Oh yeah. 
There's a river under us. Watch our steps here. Yeah, let's get up on the higher ground up there. Try and keep on the stones. Yeah. Miss that. Oh, what bird? Got his eggs in there. Won't disturb it too much. I was cheating a bit really. We was on that track and that track would have took us right up to the road. Something or nothing. Let's just plough across here. Go over this fence that we're not supposed to be going over. Yeah, now we're in some not very giving terrain. So uh, if you do this walk, maybe you'd like to take the track up to the road. Be glad to get off this. I haven't done this for a while. Oh. Well, who didn't bring their gaiters today? <laughs> what a tit. You alright? Yeah. It gets quite hairy when you get in this predicament. Not recommended. You get so far and you can't go. I've just stepped and it's just gone. Might touch my ankle. Yeah. Yep, yeah, me and all. Alright, we're getting there. We're under King's Tour now, so somewhere we'll join up with where we crossed earlier. Help! Ah, we've been here. Oh, we're back on track now. That's like a summit or nothing saying, isn't it? Back on track. We're going to go and have a look at this big standing stone up here and then find the stone rows. So the start of the Merry Vale Antiquities, the big Meneer, is that what they call it? Standing stone. Small stone circle here, but the stone rows we'll have a look at in a minute. Impressive. There's two columns of stone rows. When you come over this brow of this hill on the road, you can see them. Quite impressive. Hello, my name's Stan, and I'm bringing Sexy back. Look, there's a map of Dartmoor on your back, Stan. The temperature has dropped right down. I've put my coat on already. Uh, I'm hoping I've got enough layers for the night. It's going to be freaking cold. So anyway, great miss up here. There's a path, but we'll probably come down that tomorrow and we're going to try and uh, wing it up the side. See what we find. Let's go. Let's go camping. Oh. Yeah, we've collapsed. Feeling that last slog. Yeah. You and me you like, Stan. Ever since we went through that bog, fucking knack of that bag feels 20 times heavier than it did. It's a oh. long old slog up here, isn't it? Well, oh, it's good. Look where we are. Look at it. Not long, not far now. There it is behind me. It's looking closer than it did earlier. Yeah, a lot closer. Right, last push, get up this hill, set up some camps and get hot drinking nice. Please. Made it to the top. Made it to the top. It feels like a challenge. I thought it'd be a short walk today. It's worked out alright. It's been nice. No, now we're here. It's good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Alright. So we're going to get a camp on now. Stands out in the uh, Nature Hike Star River 2. Trev's out in the 3FUL gear Lanshan 2. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, I'm 
trying to cheat this, seeing if it goes up without sort of having to pull it all apart. But it's easy now, these bits here flip up like this. Bangs it. All the way along. Pimps, isn't it? Pimps. It's a good clip system. Good clipping system. It's for green, isn't it? So green. So it's doing this snipping, snipping, clipping, clapping. <laughs> faces. Pulling some faces, babe. Strap them into that. And then top side. It's quite hard to get it all in. That's right. He's clipping, basically, he's clipping it all together <laughs> while pulling that face. <laughs> Is it a good face? It was a good face. There you go, it's your tent. No Probably deal. pull it tight up on the corners. It's about the All right, so there's one tent. Now we'll move on to the lantern. I pulled me a... Look at that! Just pulled it out of itself. Yeah. Will it go back? Oh, it's gone. Looks like you're fighting a bear. Oh, f***ing hell, it feels like I'm fighting a bear. This one's not. Now, I was told also that I don't need any more pegs for this, but I'm dipping into some spare pegs I've got already, so I'm about to be doing it wrong. I'll let everyone judge me. Judge me. There's one side. Alright, don't open it too tight. Yeah. So we've set up camp. We're all set up. What do you um, make of it, Stan? It's, it's alright. If the wind stays as it is, I think we're going to be alright. Trev's tent does look like it's made out of a pair of old ladies' tights. <laughs> but, uh, nah, it's all right. We're here, we're pitched up. Gonna have a brew. So have a yeah. look around your tent. What do you think, mate? I think it's quite good. I mean, this, I don't really understand this. Apart from causing noise, it's called a skirt, apparently. But yeah, I yeah, know what you mean. Easy to put up, really decent pole system. Yeah, it's a good tent. Yeah. You know, it is for the night, but I can't complain with that at all. It's all right. I'm back out with the lantern. As you can see, I've got it set up a bit tighter than it was. It looks better if you film it from this side <laughs> than it does from this side. See, looks a bit tighter from this side. Looks all right, but it's sagging a bit over there. That pole needs to come up a bit, I think, the far pole. I was told I had enough pegs last time, but I bought extra pegs just in case, and I'm glad I did, because I've used every single peg I've got just to pull it out tighter. So I've pegged out the bottom sheet and the fly sheet separate so they're pulling apart so hopefully it's a bit better inside because last time it's sort of like flapping about on the floor inside i haven't even had a look in there yet let's have a look in here shall we i pulled the door up out of the way tuck them up it's looking better already these bits here last time was like flat but this time they're like up. sprung up but that's because i've Extra pegged pegging. out yeah i've pegged out the bottom you see the there it's just a hiking pole one at the front one in there behind Trev. Yeah, I think that's going to be all right. Touch wood. So I'll get my gear in here, and we'll get the kettle on. Shall we? Sounds good to me, mate. So here we are, up top. Great myth. What an evening. Isn't it nice? Crisp. Crisp. There you go, Stan. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Good brewage. Ching, ching. I hate drinking out of this thing. That's what? <laughs> it's like it's drinking out of a saucepan, isn't it? There are yeah. a lot of clouds. There's no point doing time, man. No, I know. In which One. direction is Haytor? Haytor, yeah, it'd be over that way. You can All probably right. see it there, look. Yeah. Follow the skyline. You see the highest point. Yeah. And it dips down, and there's like a little nipple in the middle. Yeah. And then, it goes up and then again. over there, that's Haytor. That's Haytor. Yeah. Cracking, isn't it? See the uh, estuary running up to Plymouth over there. I've yet to walk all that. Plymouth, that's a nice place, isn't it? <laughs> cut, cut. It was all right back in my raving days. 
place to be. Isn't it? Mm. Before my time. Well, I can honestly say that's the best car park I've had for a long time. It's a spot when you're camping. Eating and drinking when you're camping. Nothing better, is there? Uh, manageable now. It's manageable. manageable now. We drink. Yes, we drop temperature. It's got sugar mixed in with it, don't it? Yeah, three in ones, mate. We can't see the tents from here, so we could actually walk around the corner and they're gone. Blown. Uh, I don't think so. It's too soft. Shh. So, what are we, we going to hunt for dinner? Are going to catch me a wild spicy sausage? Yeah. Well, for dinner, we've got a boil in the bags, but homemade ones. I've got a stew. I didn't give him my stew. I've given him my pasta bake. So spicy that's all right sausage for pasta bake. It looks nice. Yeah. It does look very nice. Um, like the flapjack I had earlier, presented to me in what can only be described as a doggy bag. <laughs> it's actually dog, really nice. Poo bag. Trev's doing baking. He's a master baker. Yeah. That was good. That needed Pop that. <sighs> this is Stan's boudoir for the night. Yes. I've lent him this inflatable mat. I've never used this one before, Stan. So. So this is a lat cure. Outfitters, yeah, very easy. It's got a double valve, open top one, blow the air in. You open the second one to let the air out. Easy as that. Easy to pump up. It's quite with nice, my, isn't it? Even with my California raisin lungs. It feels a bit more substantial than the nature hike one I've got. And then Trev's kindly given me another one. Second mat. It's just that's a mountain warehouse self-inflator they call it but you do have to blow it up but the temperature is definitely dropping and just sitting on the ground here yeah that's why i said blow them up the you ground is really starting to get cold but i have got my zippo hand warmer that i'm looking forward to someone i think george post mentioned about these before i actually bought it for my dad who suffers he has rainars in his fingers but then i thought once you light this it's lit for 12 hours so my dad would burn the house down so i, I decided against it <laughs> but yeah it's got a little catalytic burner there so there's no actual flame i have forgotten the measuring cup there's a 12 hour fill line and a six hour fill line carefully pour it in there you leave stood upright for a minute careful not to put it on its side because that can cause the fuel to get into the catalyst and it actually have a flame it can be a fire hazard but then you leave it for a minute then you light it there's no flame just a warm glow put that on into the little little sack and that will go if filled it up six to twelve hours for twelve hours and it kicks out substantial heat through the bag and then if you're really cold be a bit careful as it does get really hot you can just put your hand on the actual metal okay i just did a i just did a, a talk, yeah, i talked it's about not... something i don't actually even know anything about I'm just sort of, <laughs> that's what i do i keep thinking before i say catalyst <laughs> catalyst i think it's catalyst burner I don't, I don't know it's just looking thick now <laughs> you put fire on it and it makes fire but not without fire a flameless fire a flameless fire yeah trying to find the devil's frying pan. It could be anywhere. <laughs> Butt nose. Look at the sunset. It's dipping in beyond the cloud there, beautiful. Oh, we're boiling in the bags. Stan's having a pasta salad. Spicy sausage pasta salad. Oh. There it is. It smells nice. Yeah, it's fucking smell it already. Is this hot enough? Yeah, hot enough. Yeah. Yeah, much. That's good. Tell you what, it's gourmet. Is it? It really is good. Yeah. Homemade though, isn't it? I think it makes a difference cooking real food. Boiling the bags get you out of a fix, but they're not, they're not delicious, are they? No mind. Yeah, man. 
Mm. How's that, Trev? Yes, delicious. So what, what's on the menu there? Beef stew, it's got potatoes, sweet, carrots, onions. Just a hearty veg Just, stew. Yeah, there's a nice bit of sweet there, look. Nice. It's like a lucky dip every time. Very impressed with that. It's jet boil. I mentioned to Stan that there's a cheaper version online. I don't know what it is. I'll try and find a link to it. But is it meant to be as good? But because I've got a jet boil, I haven't bought one. I know that's never stopped me with tents, but. <laughs> Need more, Stan? I'll try another bit. Why not? Blimmin' good, that. Lots of cockles. There's like an Elvis head over there, look. Uh -huh. I'm all shook up. Right, we're in Stan's tent again now. Hello um, there. The Star River 2. And uh, I'm boiling some water. Oh, we don't need that now anyway, do we? We're going to have the rum first. Have the rum first? Yeah. Well, what am I boiling the water for? But we just spilt half of our water. We. We, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it was me. Admittedly, it was me. It's gone under there, it's all right. Pud the puddle's under that. Right, so I'm going to turn that off now. <laughs> Wasted operation. Hopefully I won't knock it over. Do you want a white Captain Morgans? Or dark Captain Morgans? Well, I've tried dark before. I've never tried the white, so I think it's got to be the white. Good choice. Dark's horrid. <laughs> it's like the proper navy rum, isn't it? The white. Let's see what this is all about. Right. Oh, I was just gonna... It is dark rum, it's the rank one. Yeah, I was just going to sweep the rum in the nice bottle one. like this. Oh, try that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, if that doesn't makes me pull that face, what's this one going to do? <laughs> oh, that's nice, that. <laughs> Got Rennies in there. <laughs> chin chin. Oh, you got a bit of that one, have you? Yeah. Yeah, it's dark rum's the rank one. Right. If anyone out there wants to know that. Spice rum's nice. Oh, that is strong. Yeah, that is stronger than this one. <laughs> Warms you up like this. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> Some sort of reaction. <laughs> That's nice, really, isn't it? So, back in the lounge room now. <coughs> and so far, so good. It feels quite roomy in here, actually. It's alright. There's not much wind about. It's really calm. It's cold, but sort of bearable. So yeah, fingers crossed, should be rather pleasant night. Oh, that was by far the most comfortable night's sleep I've ever had. Morning. It's absolutely stunning this morning. I'm watching the sunrise, but not looking at the sun. I miss that. But looking over here, look at this landscape. I'm just seeing the shadow creeping down. I'm sorry if you thought the uh, wild camp was a bit uneventful, but I'm not complaining. For a change, it was nice just to sleep all night. Maybe the rum helped. But uh, yeah, I just slept right through. I couldn't believe it. It wasn't that cold. It was, but it, I kept fairly warm. I had a couple of hand warmers and I just kept one sort of in between my legs and one in, on my chest up here, pressed against my chest. And I was 
those two little things kept me warm all night really amazing that's those little silicone ones which you shake and you crush They're about a quid when I bought them Stan in there he was talking to me earlier but he's sleeping another knife there I think it's missed the sunrise I need your cup, mate. Alright, I know, I know, I know. I've got to get myself prepared. Can't just get out willy nilly. <laughs> Come on. Oh, got it. How oh, did you get on last night and stand and enjoy it? It's alright, actually. Yeah. What do you make of the nature hike as a tent? Enough room in there? I thought it was good. Yeah. Yeah, I can do a bit of jiggery pokery once I've, once I've got settled, I'll settle. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to make some hot chocolates. You just see if I don't. Coffee chocolates. Stan's bought a camel back. Sorry, I'm eating flapjack. One cup. Clipper. Two cups. Two cups of water. Ah, ah, ah. A few bits of grass in there. That don't matter, does it? Ah. Survived. Survived. Cheers. Do it again, Stan? Yes, mate. Definitely. Bring some more layers. away now got all the insides packed up now it's collapsing the tent down get him in its bag and we're done we stand to do the nature hike here you go then Stan how was that packing the tent up a dread of mine has always been packing up tents but that was Proper easy stuff straight in. Yeah, no messing. Yeah, it's all come on in leaps and bounds, isn't it? Tents yeah. and that. Getting all right? Yeah, man. Look at it. Look at it. Big old bag. Stan, you enjoy that? Oh, I really did, mate. It's good. Yeah. Enjoy a ball. Highlights. Highlights. Getting to the top of that. Yeah. Letting my bag down. <laughs> it's a nice fast area here, isn't it? The views are just breathtaking, isn't it? It's... Well, here we are. Back at the car now. So not a bad little walk yesterday. An amazing camp. Sorry I didn't have too much footage, but <laughs> sleeping. Well, thanks ever so much for watching. Leave a comment below if you haven't already. Subscribe for more hiking, outdoors, wild camping videos. And we'll uh, see you later. Chase. Bye. See you later. <laughs>